By a vote of 5-3, to three, Dee Valladeris was crowned sole survivor on the season 45 finale after 26 grueling days on the islands of Fiji. And she joins me now. Dee, congratulations. Your gameplay was so impressive. How does it feel to not only be a millionaire, but also the survivor winner? Oh my goodness. I It feels surreal. I am still in shock. Just as much shock as I was in that island. I am still in shock. Um, but I'm so grateful because I celebrated last night with family and loved ones, a ton of loved ones. So I, yeah, it's surreal. It's surreal. And I, this, this is the greatest game in the world. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, speaking of family, you constantly talked about on the island how important your parents um, are to you and they were kind of your why for playing Survivor, wanting to win Survivor. So how elated were your parents to watch you win the whole thing? We were crying a ton. <laughs> we were crying a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I Obviously, I told them like when I got back, so they they knew it. But it's one thing to to tell them what happened and it's another to actually watch what happened. Mm. So they were super proud of me and I'm proud of myself. Very, very grateful. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as I understand, you are the first Cuban born winner of Survivor. And that's really something to be proud of, if you ask me. So how does that make you feel? It holds a lot of responsibility and I love it. I think it's unbelievable, but I think more than just the soul, the title of Soul Survivor, just if I can like inspire that immigrant or just even that child that's just mm -hmm. watching, that to me is like much, much more important. That that fulfills my soul. Yeah, absolutely. Now, obviously you had a really strong gameplay and you had a few very impressive immunity challenge wins, but also your social strategy is really what ultimately won you the game in my opinion. So tell me about your social strategy tactics. Yeah, I knew going in my strategy, you, you can't have one specific strategy going on to Survivor. So I knew I was gonna, have fun and make alliances that are going to last me out of the game. And I was so good socially that two of my number ones never voted me out. Right. So it's just important to go out there. You got 18 people you don't know about, but then you're out here on the Island. Like you have to understand people and what motivates them. And you got to make them laugh. You got to make them think about their family. You got to talk conversations that even are not game related. Like yeah. a big part of my social game was having one-on-one -on -one combos with these people and talking about our families, talking about relationships. Like, what do you like to do for fun? I know we're on Survivor, but we're also human, right? Like this is, we get along. So building building that rapport uh, and that trust with time. Yeah, absolutely. Now, speaking of your two number ones, why would you say that your alliance with Julie was so vital to your game? Um, I knew that Julie would never write my name down, mm. just like I would never write her name down. So that's why it's important for my game to, to have someone that you a hundred percent blindly trust which is not the greatest because really my blind my my blinds were like austin and julie right mm -hmm. they could have blindsided me whenever and i would have never found out <laughs> but it, it's important to have two people in the game to know for a fact that they will not write your name down yeah for <laughs> sure now how would you say that you managed your showmance and individual games simultaneously throughout your time on the island I love that question. Um, it was easy at first because we didn't start, you know, quote unquote, until day 20, right? Um, that's because both of our heads were in the game, right? But it, it did get tougher once we had to make harder moves, mm -hmm. right? Like harder game moves, because that's when it gets, you're thinking, should I tell him? Should I not? Like, he's still my number one. Mm -hmm. I still like him. I'm thinking now after the game, like, what's going to happen? Is he going to think I'm lying to him? How is, is he going to think I'm just, you right? Like you, you start thinking about all these things, but um, ultimately, like you also have to put that aside and say like, okay, well, I'm betraying him. But in a way it's like, I'm not betraying him for him to go home. Mm -hmm. Right. And I will do like my best to bring him with me. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I got a few quick questions for you. So first off, D, you blew my mind at Final Tribal Council. How did you prep for it? Oh my goodness. I'll be honest. We, Austin and I, that last day when the breakfast was there, um, we looked at each other and we were just flirting the whole time. <laughs> okay, we, we got to prep for this. So we both like just closed our eyes for like 10 minutes and then we prepped them. But to be honest, like I had already prepped my final, mm -hmm. like before I even was... Before in the final yeah. tribal yeah, yeah like during the game i made mental notes like 
all right, this is good. This is what I'm going to talk about in the finale. And then also like while Jake and Austin were talking about their games, I also made mental notes. Okay. They said this, how can I counter that? But then how can I go back and answer the jury's question? Like I just had a notepad in my brain. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you have to have a winner mindset. Now, wow. something that I found really interesting in the finale, obviously the jury would disagree, but Jake mentions that he felt like you played a safe and comfortable game. How would you respond to that? Um, I, I think it's easy for people to see a dominant alliance and say, oh, they're safe, right? But what they don't see and what the audience also doesn't see is the nights that we didn't sleep. And by the nights, I mean every single night. We yeah. would get up at 2, 3 in the morning. Julie would get up first. She'd tap me. I She would go to the beach. I'd make sure nobody's awake. Then I tap Austin. Then Austin makes sure nobody's awake. Then I leave. And then he taps Drew. And this happened every single night at two or three in the morning. Nobody would ever watch us. So, you know, it, it's easy to spur for people to say, like, it's safe and easy. But it, it's much harder to be in a dominant alliance and being called yeah. a threat from the merge. I've heard my name. It's easy for those people to get sniped. And that's why there's so many survivor good survivor players that will never win because they're too yeah. much of a threat and usually they get taken out but because of my social and my strategies i, I wasn't taken out like i was so well insulated so yeah. it wasn't safe it just wasn't shown until final tribal like yes. the moves because my moves were more low-key which is perfect that's what i wanted because then more eyes would be on me yeah absolutely and that is on a strong alliance now d was there yeah. any jury vote that surprised you yes um caleb voting for me surprised me and that's because you know when we played we had that like we bumped heads a little bit mm -hmm. uh not like personally it's just like in-game head sure. like bumping head and since he was the first jury of the first jury member it had been such a long time like two weeks since like I even like that had already not even been in my mind so there was a yeah. possibility in my mind that he would vote for Jake or Austin mm. because of whatever happened with us in the game yeah absolutely that's very interesting all right very D, my final question you know I have to ask it where do you and Austin stand today oh I love this question <laughs> and you're not gonna like my answer um but we have decided to keep things private right now okay just because it's, it's been this whole journey has been very emotionally draining sure. and it's about to even get crazier yeah so I'm sorry. <laughs> no, do not apologize. I get it. You have to protect your privacy. All right, Dee, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on being the winner of Survivor Season 45. It was a pleasure getting to speak with you. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Happy holidays. You too. <laughs>